1972, it was discovered that a uranium mine in Gabon, Africa, had operated as a natural nuclear reactor 1.7 billion years ago. It happened like this. A French company that extracted and enriched uranium from Gabon received complaints from some customers about the delivery of ore with a low uranium-235 content. Uranium-235 is the only uranium isotope capable of generating energy or being used in nuclear weapons. When experts went to Gabon to investigate the quality of the uranium in the mine, they noticed large variations in isotopes in different parts of the mine. These variations were surprising since the uranium isotope content is uniform. The 235 isotope occurs at a percentage of 0.9% in every kilogram of uranium ore, with the remaining 99.1% composed of the 238 isotope. Now, in certain parts of the mine, the 235 isotope percentage was only 0.4%. But how was this possible? The only explanation for this was that, in the distant past, the 235 isotopes in parts of the mine began to react naturally, creating a natural nuclear fission reactor. Since the half-life of uranium-235 is 700 million years, that is, every 700 million years, the amount of uranium-235 naturally drops by half. This means that 2 billion years ago, the uranium-235 content in Gabon was 3.5% similar to that of the enriched fuel of a modern nuclear reactor. Experts discovered that two billion years ago, groundwater in contact with uranium acted as a moderator, enabling the natural fission of uranium-235. Eventually, 1.7 billion years ago, when the water stopped coming into contact with the uranium, the natural nuclear reaction ceased. Natural history is spectacular, 